Rwanda Air has launched flights to the Chinese commercial city of Guangzhou, marking its career's third destination to Asia. The flight is expected to strengthen bilateral ties between the two countries. CNBC Africa's Stephen Mavoni reports. Rwanda national carrier Rwandair continues to spread its wings and is now flying to China. The launch of the flight to the country's third largest city of Guangzhou comes on the back of a partnership between Rwanda and e-commerce giant Alibaba Group, which paved the way for stronger trade cooperation between the two nations. Uh, first thing that we're all excited that we've been able, we're, we're, we're going to launch this, uh, this maiden flight uh, to Guangzhou, to China. It means a lot to Rwanda. It first of all means that uh, what our two heads of state has agreed, which is to strengthen the bilateral cooperation between China and Rwanda, is being achieved because this was, this was part of what they agreed because uh, they signed the bilateral air service agreement by the time the heads of state was here, that's one. But number two, it means that uh, in the aviation sector, in civil aviation sector, we are, we are also step by step achieving what we targeted to achieve, which is to become uh, uh, an aviation hub for Africa by being able to air connect Rwandans. You know, Rwanda is a landlocked country, but we know we are not air locked, so we need to use the means we have as a country to uh, to connect Rwandans. Um, it's important. China is one of the biggest uh, trading partners for Rwanda. Uh, just uh, in the last two years, the imports has been able to grow on a rate of around 11%. So we've been able to import things around 390 million only in one year. And we're exporting something from 5.2 to 5.9 uh, uh, in one year. So the growth is at 11 to 13 percent on the trade. So that means it's, it's a trading, it's a big, one of the biggest trading partners. So when there's trade, there's movement of people, there's movement of passengers. So and we have to facilitate that. And the only way to facilitate that is through the, the air transport. And it's important that we launch a direct route between Rwanda and China, which we are doing today. But it's also important as a country, you know, aviation is always linked with the tourism. And uh, we want to attract as many Chinese tourists in Rwanda as, as, as many we can. So uh, one of the challenges has always been that we don't have uh, a flight from China to Rwanda. And we hope by this launch, we'll then get as, as, uh, as many as we can. But by the way, you can see yourself the numbers. We're just the first flight, the, the flight is full. So it's so interesting and important for Rwanda. I think it's very significant, not only to Rwanda Air, but to Rwanda and the African continent, because uh, what we're doing with this route is actually linking the African continent to, to China, to mainland China. Uh, there's a lot of trade that, that happens between uh, uh, China and Africa. Uh, so this will facilitate uh, further trade. It will facilitate tourism in Rwanda, and it will also strengthen diplomatic ties between the two countries. Three is the minimum we, we'd, we'd actually do on a route because otherwise if you do once a week then you're forcing people to stay in a country for a whole week when maybe they want to be there for two days or three days. Uh, so we decided to start with three frequencies and based on the demand we can increase, we can increase the frequencies as well. It's midnight at the Kigali International Airport where the plane right behind me is about to take off and it's heading to the Chinese city of Guangzhou. This marks the 28th destination of the national career, as well as the third destination to the Asian continent. This month, we see Rwandair fly to even more destinations, with the flight to Tel Aviv set to be launched soon. The rapid expansion of the career aligns with the country's quest to become an aviation hub in the region. Uh, next week, we're, we're launching Tel Aviv in Israel. Uh, we're looking at launching uh, Luanda in Angola uh, very soon, uh, as well as Addis Ababa. And in the long term, uh, in the coming months, uh, uh, we are also looking at uh, New York as well. We want the national career to, to expand, mainly focus on Africa, but also be a way of linking Africa countries, a way of, of unleashing the potential for Africa uh, to, other, to other countries such as Asia. So now we are in Asia, we were, were in Mumbai, we're now in China. And the next few days we'll be in Tel Aviv, uh, but also we, you know, we are in, in, in Europe with uh, Brussels, with London. Uh, we might launch some other routes soon, but mainly we want to develop the routes, the potential routes of Africa, but link them with other, with other continents. So there, there, there are more, more routes to come, more freight to come. But the most important thing is that 
this is just one part of the overall strategy as a country in air transport to to become uh, to become an aviation hub so we thank the, the chinese government for for having uh, quickly uh, fast track the process to our own one day to to be in there we thank the airport uh, the whole aviation sector in uh, uh, in, in, in China for having accepted Rwanda to be in that. So we'll continue with that our destination as well. Rwanda's expansion is likely to increase traffic at the Kigali International Airport, hence the need to speed up construction of a new airport in Ugesera. First of all, just to say, uh, well, for any tourists who's waiting to come in Rwanda, Kigali International Airport still has the capacity to, or to, the capacity to receive them and give them a comfortable and top class uh, treatment. Yeah. So we still have a leeway on the Kigali International Airport. And yes, we need to fast track the Vigisela International uh, Airport construction, and we are doing it. We are fast tracking it. Uh, by the time this will be full, full uh, the, that time then we will, we will transition to Vigisela, and I think we are in line with that. China is the world's most populous country with a population of over 1.4 billion. This presents a big opportunity in terms of trade and tourism. It's different in, in, in the sense that China has volumes. We, we, uh, with the population of China, that means if uh, we are to tap into just a small section of that, whether for tourism or for trade or any other, um, any other activity between uh, China and, and Africa, that, that's, that has a lot of potential just by the sheer volumes of, of the population in the, in the country. Uh, so we, we, we think this will be very significant uh, for Rwanda in terms, as I mentioned, for tourism, uh, for trade, especially for cargo. The cargo business will be significant uh, on this route as well. And especially tied in with, uh, with the collaboration we have with Alibaba, that will really, uh, really help the cargo volumes for, for, for Rwanda. Yeah.